Hey, number one game enthusiasts! You're on the Football News Channel and today we have gathered the main headlines of the day just for you to enjoy. Subscribe, give us a like and write in the comments below what games you plan to watch today. And while you're typing, we proceed to start. Let's get the show on the pitch! Tottenham have joined the race to sign Paulo Dybala. Conte really wants to see the Argentine in the squad. Manchester United intend to strengthen its midfield in the summer transfer window. Their targets are Jure Telemans of Leicester and Ruben Navish of Wolverhampton. Divo Corrigi told Liverpool management he would not sign a new contract. In the summer, he is likely to move to Milan as a free agent. Manchester City and Liverpool have cooled their interest in Gavi, as both received info of his desire to remain with Blaugranas. Atletico Madrid have secured their sixth La Liga win in a row. According to the bookmakers, the five favorites of the 2022 World Cup are the following teams. On the fifth place we have Argentina, Spain is on the fourth, England is placed on the third, France on the second, and the main favorite is Brazil. West Ham are open to selling Declan Rice. He is worth 100 million pounds, David Moyes said. Ruben Dias will have no time to get in shape before facing Atletico. Guardiola was the one who revealed the matter. Barcelona scouts will monitor Gilles Koundé in his match against Sevilla. The Catalans are looking for defensive line boosts. Sergio Ramos intends to stay at PSG. He is aware of not living up to expectations, so he would like to show that he is still capable of winning titles. Imobili thinks of finishing his performances for the Italian national team. Lazio forward is considered among the culprits for the Italians' failed attempt to qualify for the 2022 World Cup. Rumors on Gnabry leaving? I'm very confident that from a football point of view, he has everything that he needs to develop further on, Nagelsmann thinks. I'm told Usman is very happy here at Barca. Let's see what happens with his contract. We have a very clear salary system, Laporta mentioned in a comment to RTVE. Araujo and Gavi are very important. Barcelona cannot allow either of them leave. I want to think that two of them will reach an agreement with the club, Xavi said. There are always talks with representatives from other clubs. Manchester United is a great club with great fans. But I can only repeat myself. My full focus is completely on Ajax. We are already planning for the new season, Eric Den Haag claimed. My first idol, probably like every kid at that time, was Ronaldinho. A pure joy to watch, Bruno Fernandes shared. Brentford are interested in extending the agreement with midfielder Christian Eriksen, whose deal with the club runs until the season's end. I have remained a great Milan fan and I always follow the Italian league closely. But I think it could be the right year for Milan to win Serie A, Ronaldinho noted. Man United will try to get to the top four as long as it's possible. But with a loss of two points, our position has not improved. Rangnick reacted to the result against Leicester City. Leipzig under Tedesco are unbeaten in 10 games, having seven wins and three draws. Without Ronaldo, Manchester United had only five draws and one defeat in the Premier League since September. Karim Benzema sealed 34 goals for Real Madrid this season. This is his personal best. Manchester United got one victory in the last six matches over Tottenham Hotspur. For the fourth time in La Liga history, Real Madrid had three penalties in one game. Los Blancos are the leaders in taking penalties this season. Man City came to win. After an international pass, anything can happen. Guardiola commented on the victory over Burnley. Nobody saw it coming. Chelsea did not defend like it's needed to in the Premier League. Thomas Tuchel tried to justify his team after the defeat versus Brantford. Cristiano Ronaldo will miss the match against Leicester City due to illness. Chelsea lost 1-4 to Brantford at home. For the first time, the guests have managed to score four goals in the Premier League. Bayern had 12 players on the pitch at the end of the tie against Freiburg for 17 seconds. The referees did not immediately notice the matter before they stopped the game. Dembele can be the best in the world in his position if he works hard, Marka quoted Xavi as saying. Liverpool have won 10 Premier League games in a row with an aggregate score of 25-2. Diogo Jota scored the fourth goal with a header, making him an outright leader for headed goals in the Premier League this season. 
As for the list of goal scorers, he is second only to Salah. When you win with France, you are a French player. When you lose suddenly, you get your Senegalese passport, Evra shared. The schedule for the 2022 World Cup in Qatar has been published. The clash between Senegal and the Netherlands will kick off the tournament. The Super League is a way to save European football. It's clear that City and PSG have a money-making machine, and we are fighting against that, Laporta stated. The results of yesterday's top league fixtures are right in front of you. Moving on to the main topics of the release. Let's have a brief rewind of yesterday's matches. Starting with the Premier League, Liverpool and Man City got their victories synchronized. The Reds crashed Watford 2-0. Jota and Fabinho made the picture clear. While the Sky Blues outplayed Burnley with an identical result. De Bruyne and Gundogan took their best shots. Meanwhile, Manchester United failed to beat Leicester City at home 1-1. The hosts responded to Ihanacho's strike with an accurate shot from Fred. The main sensation of the day was the crushing defeat of Chelsea from Brantford. 1-4. We highlight the goal of Christian Eriksen, who has recently gained an excellent shape. The intense race for the gold continues. Next up, the Bundesliga, where we focus on Bayer winning Hertha 2-1. Leipzig destroying Dortmund in an away battle 1-4. Konrad Lemar's double and both and Kuku and almost succeeded at netting the ball. Bayern in turn left no chance for Freiburg 1-4. Goretzka, Gnabry, Coman, and Zabitzer secure three points for Munich. Nagelsmann's Letts confidently top the league. As for La Liga, here we are to mention the triumphs of Real Madrid and Atletico. Galacticos withstand at Celta thanks to two penalties brilliantly taken by Benzema. And Los Colchoneros dealt with Alaves. For one, Felix and Suarez slotted a brace each. Real Madrid continues to lead the table. And now to other news. Ronaldinho condemned PSG supporters for booing Lionel Messi. It's difficult for Messi because he arrived after many years playing a completely different kind of football at a club that has always played the same way. He just lacks adaptation. But the rest will come naturally. It's normal. He just needs time. If you whistle Messi, there's nothing left. If you whistle the best in the world, who are you going to applaud? I don't get it. Ronaldinho was quoted as saying by us. Barcelona president Joan Laporta allowed Lionel Messi to return to the club. If Leo wants to talk to me about a return to Barca, I would be delighted, Laporta told TVE. He previously stated, We are not considering Messi's return. We are building a young team. It was also reported that Messi is not thinking about Barca comeback after Laporta's words on building a team of young players. BBC Sport has published a list of the highest paid football players in the world. Robert Lewandowski is in the 10th place, 23 million euros. Then, De Gea, the same 23 million, Karim Benzema with 24 million euros. In the 7th place, Kevin De Bruyne with 25 million euros. 6th, Kylian Mbappe, 26 million euros. Eden Hazard opens the top 5 with 30 million euros. Ronaldo gets 32 million. Bale is third with 34 million, Liam Messi is second with 41 million, and Neymar tops them all with 49 million euros. Robert Lewandowski wants to move to Barcelona from Bayern. The 33 year old Paul has already told his entourage that he is willing to sign a contract with the Catalans and will do everything possible for that to happen. Lewandowski is sure that his spell in Munich is over, so he wants to try himself in Spain. Barcelona took this into consideration and started working on a deal. Though they will only try to complete the transfer only in case Borussia Dortmund striker Erling Haaland snaps the Blaugranas. The Polish national team captain's contract with Bayern lasts until the summer of 2023. Then the Bavarians will not sell its leader for less than 65 million euros. The amount can be reduced due to the inclusion of footballers in the deal. For example, the Germans appreciate Serginho Dest's talent. Barcelona will have to offer Lewandowski a long-term agreement. He wants to sign for more than two years. The president of Barcelona said that even for the sake of Erling Haaland, he would not drive the club into debt. I'm very clear that I put the institution above the players, coaches, directors and executives. We are not going to make incorporations that alter our salary system. We want to maximize the team over individualities. I'm not going to give any name because it would raise the price and do Barca a disservice," Joan Laporta told TVE. Friends, 
watch our new video from the Beats News Project. It was Football News. Have a nice one and see you in a bit.